matter what your disability is, no matter what you have to overcome, we have a place for you to play hockey. These hockey players can't see, but they can hear. And thanks to these pucks, Hockey for the Blind is on the rise. So the puck is uh, bigger. It's about uh, two to three times bigger than a, um, a traditional puck. Um, and it's made out of metal and inside it actually has ball bearings so that when we uh, hit it or it hits off the boards or is moving across the ice, um, all of the players on the ice are able to track it using hearing. So you're sitting around watching your friend play hockey. You want to play, but he says you can't. Why not? Because you're in a wheelchair? As long as you're in a wheelchair of any type, you can enjoy the competitive nature of hockey at a high level, just like your friends. Before I joined the league, I really didn't do like any activities outside of school. So once I joined the uh, WCHL, it gave me a chance to do what I love, play hockey and travel, and just have a good time. You go get dressed and play hockey? When five-year-old Everett Ross's older brother signed up for hockey, he wanted to play too. Everett says he loves the skating games at practice. Everett has autism spectrum disorder. It affects his motor skills. His foot turns in when he walks, causing him to trip a lot. He also has difficulty communicating. His mother was hesitant to let him play, but didn't want to keep him from the game he loves. I want to give him like the chance to do what regular kids are doing. Playing hockey is therapeutic for Everett. Skating is helping with his coordination, and being on a team is helping with his communication skills. I am really... The medal is, what it does mean to me is that I'm a part of a big world of hockey that I never even knew about. To them, the goal that they score is just as important in their mind, and uh, they, they bring that with them and talk about it for the next year until the season starts up again. So it's just a win-win. USA Hockey has been so good for Sam because he's a part of the team. He's just more confident, goes out through his life, and I know this is a huge part of it. Sports are, are a good part of a person's life and wheelchair basketball didn't work and some other things. So this has really been helpful. And I kind of like the father-son thing that we get to do together. Yeah. Want to get some ice skates? The helmet on his head can't mask his happiness. It's clear to see five-year-old Ethan Craig can't wait to get on the ice. Ethan, he's the biggest hockey fan you'll ever meet. But Ethan has cerebral palsy and is visually impaired, so sports, especially on the ice, don't come easy. Not without a ton of help. This dream has come true, so I'm very excited for him. Ready? Five, one more. Yeah. I was pissed off because he said I couldn't do something. It's the worst thing you can do is tell me I can't do something. Hockey is my passion for sure. I love getting out there and, and just playing. Rarely do you get to know that many, see that many blind people together, so you get to learn so much about how people are dealing with things in their lives as well. The first time I went did skating, I had to use the little bar thing, and I got really annoyed at that because I couldn't really move around. So by the time I went back to skating another time, I could skate without the bar, so it made me happy. I would always go out early on the ice when we go to the practices, and I would work on my skating beforehand. So I learned how to, I taught myself to skate backwards and taught myself to stop. Right now, the biggest thing for me is um, trying to get a handle on the puck. If I don't know the puck's coming towards me, I'll hear it down the ice. If I'm still on the defensive blue line and people are going up, I can't really see what's going on on the other end. I can just hear what, where the puck's going. The so-so form that it provides is incredible. The, the, it, it is also a therapeutic activity for the players as a sport can help uh, help the athletes with uh, aspects of their disabilities. After that, it's a social aspect. They get to meet new friends, and that's what it's all about. So whether we win or lose doesn't matter, as long as they're having fun and having new friends. 
It's uh, one of the, uh, the best feelings ever. Um, I've been here since day one. I love it here. It means a lot to me because then I get to be in a team with everybody else that's different. Take your time. Very good. Um, just playing. Get skin, re get exercise. I guess it really helps. Doing very well. Smiles and having fun is what we're about.